Imagine on one wrist a simple $250 watch, and on the other, a breathtaking $250,000 masterpiece. A staggering 1,000 times price difference. But why? After all, both tell the time. Still, people spend thousands of dollars on luxury watches and are willing to go above and beyond to get their hands on one. Today, I will show you what sets a $250 watch apart from a $250,000 one. Also, I will compare two watches from each price range to help you understand the difference. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, what are the factors that contribute to the massive difference in price between the price tags? Well, the first factor is, of course, the material quality. There is a notable difference when we compare the materials used in luxury watches and their more affordable counterparts. Take the glass faces of these timepieces as an example. A low-cost watch uses mineral glass for its face, a more economical material that falls at the lower end of the price spectrum. On the other side, luxury watches use sapphire crystals, a material that significantly elevates their cost. Sapphire possesses a quality of being highly resistant to breakage and wear. Luxury watch owners invest in this durability when they purchase such a timepiece. In addition to durability, sapphire crystals are key in shaping the excellent aesthetics of luxury watches, being largely scratch and damage resistant. But the use of high quality materials doesn't just stop at the watch face in luxury timepieces. The internal aspects of these watches are equally noteworthy. Luxury watches are ornamented with rare crystals, such as rubies and additional sapphires, which prevent the wear and tear caused by metal-to-metal -metal contact. These gems further enhance the value and appeal of luxury watches, an advantage that ordinary watches fail to offer. The next main reason behind the price difference is the skill and craftsmanship invested in producing luxury watches. These timepieces are born from the hands of master watchmakers, who have dedicated their entire lives to perfecting the art of horology. Imagine a watchmaker hunched over a workbench, meticulously piecing together hundreds of minute parts with precision and care. This isn't just assembly. It's art. The engineering involved in luxury watchmaking is nothing short of complex. Despite their small size, luxury watches are composed of hundreds of tiny components, painstakingly hand-assembled to create a piece of unmatched quality and function. It takes more than just time to create such a masterpiece. It takes months, even years of skill and dedication to produce a single luxury watch. Then there are ordinary watches. These are mass-produced on an assembly line, churned out quickly and efficiently with little to no human touch involved. The difference in the level of craftsmanship is glaring when you examine the quality of the casing, bracelet, and even the face of the watch. Now, let me give you an example to help you understand the difference between a $250 and $250,000 watch. For $250, I have picked the Seiko Presage SRPA 25K1. Everyone knows that Seiko is a reliable and reputable watch brand with some really expensive timepieces in its collection. But this one here is an affordable yet stylish watch. To be very honest, $250 in the world of watches is nothing nowadays. So what does this particular watch have to offer? It comes up with a 42mm stainless steel case, notable for its thickness of 13mm. For a dress watch, this is on the large side, contributing to a sporty, everyday watch vibe. The case design is straightforward and clean featuring a polished bezel and lugs, and a brushed case side. Its water resistance stands at 100 meters, making it suitable for swimming and enduring water splashes. But diving is off the table. You wouldn't expect a dive watch depth rating from a non-dress watch, after all. Flip the watch around and you'll discover a see-through case back, offering a glimpse into the automatic movement at work inside. Despite its 13mm thickness, it comfortably fits on the wrist, largely due to its relatively flat case back. On the side of the case, you'll find a crown designed as a push-pull type. The dial of the watch is a striking blue, 
with a sunburst brushed finish, displaying striking light effects under different lighting conditions. It features silver tone hour markers and hands, along with a date window at the 3 o'clock position. The stainless steel bracelet boasts brushed side links and polished middle links, equipped with a folding deployment clasp. In terms of working, the watch incorporates the Seiko Caliber 4R35, an automatic mechanical movement with a rotor. However, the movement lacks in terms of decoration and finishing, which is a reasonable trade-off considering its price range. You will be wondering if a $250 watch is so good. What will a $250,000 be like? Well, let me introduce you to the Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel Tourbillon 89000-00R-9655. But just to be honest, when you see a 1,000 times price difference, you automatically expect a watch with some over-the-top complications and features, such as telling time in multiple time zones or something out of a sci-fi movie. But that's not the case with this luxury watch. However, it is still a piece of unmatched sophistication and elegance. The polished finish of the 18 karat rose gold round shaped case, measuring 42 millimeters in diameter, exudes a radiant charm that is hard to ignore. Increasing the charm of the timepiece is a fixed 18 karat rose gold bezel that complements the case perfectly. Doesn't seem satisfying its $250,000 value? Well, let's take a closer look at the dial because it's where the magic truly happens. Adorned with a variety of finishes, the opaline silver tone dial is a sight to behold. The applied faceted rose gold stick dot hour markers and rose gold dauphine hands stand out against the backdrop, offering a clean and easy to read display. The minute track at the outer rim adds a classic touch to the overall design. In terms of functionality, the watch boasts a small seconds feature on the tourbillon carriage and minutes with a tourbillon bearing the iconic Maltese cross at 6 o'clock. The power reserve indicator is conveniently located at 12 o'clock. Adding to the chic design is a Maltese cross embossed gold crown, a subtle yet significant detail that proudly echoes the brand's heritage. The watch offers durability with its scratch-resistant sapphire crystal and a transparent case back that provides a sneak peek into the exceptional craftsmanship of this timepiece. Complementing the rose gold elements is a black leather strap with a rose gold Vacheron Maltese cross deployment buckle, ensuring a secure and comfortable fit. Water resistant to 30 meters or 99 feet, this watch is designed to withstand daily exposure to water. The display is boldly signed Vacheron Constantin with the case back inscribed and numbered, reflecting its exclusivity. The watch operates on a mechanical manual winding movement caliber 2260. This movement is composed of 31 joules, operating at 18,000 VPH and consists of 231 parts. Interestingly, this watch is equipped with four barrels mounted in coupled pairs, all unwind simultaneously, but naturally four times slower than a single barrel. The four barrel springs amount to a total length of around 2.20 meters providing an impressive power reserve of approximately 336 hours or 14 days. This fantastic timepiece is stamped with the hallmark of Geneva, a certification that guarantees its superior quality, precision, and exceptional craftsmanship. Now, if you think realistically both watches serve the purpose of telling time, but then, the difference in quality, features, and price makes them stand worlds apart. The Seiko Presage is a perfect watch for everyday use. Reliable and affordable, yet stylish and functional. On the other hand, the Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel Tourbillon is an object of art, meticulously crafted with precision and sophistication for those who appreciate luxury horology at its finest. If you're looking for a safe investment that will last a lifetime, the Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel Tourbillon is the one to go for. However, if you're just entering the world of watches and want to test the waters, the Seiko Presage is an excellent starting point. Let me know in the comments below about your thoughts on these two watches. Do you think the differences in quality and price are justified? For me, it's not a wise decision to spend over $100,000 on a watch when there are affordable options available in the $10,000 to $30,000 range with similar quality. 
Now, if you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon so you never miss an update on the latest luxury watch releases and news. Keep ticking, and goodbye.